Salutations Legion, this is Why Merch, and today I have some surprise toys. We have the ice cream cone from the I Dig Monsters toy line. Basically, it comes with some sort of slime or clay, and probably one of these characters. What interested me the most were these little bubbles that you could pop. This is the Pop Surprise Sunday. And we have this LOL Surprise Hair Vibes Surprise Ball. And they have different hair pieces that you can swap out. This is a lot larger than a regular LOL. larger than an LOL ball. It is, of course, larger than an LOL ball, too, but, you know. So I think we'll start off with the I Dig Monsters, so I can see how that'll go. And it never opens the way I want. checklist. Let's see, which one do we want to get? Oh, let's see. This is what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to dig out our character. They have these little bubbles of dye, I guess, so that you can color it. And you add it there, you mix it for two minutes, huh? Okay. I guess we can look at the checklist after while it's well, we wait for two minutes. Here's our spoon. This looks really small for a spoon. I think I should probably remove this because I think that's probably going to get in the way. Oh, it looks like an ice cream cone. It even has the little fold peel and start digging. It looks like it's just um, clay, I think. So what should we do first? It says we have to dig. Uh, look at how much volume that's going to be. It looks so soft. Okay. That was really satisfying to look at, honestly. Yo, this is so soft. And I saw this. It said that it was an ASMR toy. And so I wanted to test it out because it said ASMR on there. And I know that was just a marketing term. But this really is like satisfying to look at. It's so soft. This is like softer than clay. Am I actually gonna have to dig all the way to the bottom? Oh no, I guess not. Let's see which character we're gonna get. I see some purple in there. You see that? supposed to get everything else out so that we can get to the next layer. I thought the whole thing was going to be full. I guess not. I kind of like it like this texture. I don't really want to add the little scent bubbles or whatever because they're probably going to make it like sticky and annoying. And I don't have any slime activator on hand right now. So, got 
first layer here. Let's try to take out the little plastic insert here. Because apparently there's still more. It's kind of messy. So if you don't have the proper area to do this in, this might not be the right thing for you. Oh, they really just threw everything else in there, huh? Okay, so there's one of our bubbles. There's the other one. There's our little character. Oh, she's like a mermaid. Okay. I really don't like that they didn't put the character in like a separate bag or have a little divider because it's got it's got a little bit of the um, the foam in there. There's a little ice cream cone. Look at how tiny it is. Okay, this stuff. This is so soft. Like, look at it. There's a little bit of like a like an oily feeling to it, but I'm assuming that's what keeps it the way it is. And let's see, I think you can remove the uh yeah. Let's see if we can remove the hair so that I can clean up little pieces. Okay. We can. Which means this is, if we had a second one, you can mix and match. I kind of like it as it is. So it's here. We have Mermaid Zilly. I'm off the scales when it comes to cute tunes. Uh, this is a common. Okay. So, let's see what we're supposed to do. I know how it's hit on the lid. That you should probably make it inside the cone. So that's what I'm going to do so I can follow the instructions. You have to wait for two minutes apparently. So, might as well play with it while I can at this texture because I bet it's going to be like a really gross texture later. It's so soft. Let's just put it back in. Alright, so we have a checklist for the bubbles too. And we have, I think, this one looks like a rectangular shape. So, and this one's round, it kind of looks like blueberry. So I think we have Mallow Dramatic Berry, which is blueberry and marshmallow. And then we have this kind of mini cone. I think I should make a little ice cream. Wait, before we mix it up, let's make a little ice cream. Okay, that's a really lumpy looking ice cream, but... Yes, there is our little ice cream. There's your empty cone. Alright. Now let's open up the bubbles. I hope this isn't going to smell disgusting. I have high hopes for this. But there must be a reason why this one was on sale, you know? Maybe it was expiring. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. How do I do this? There's our little blueberry. Oh. And the other one. Let's hope this one is easier to remove out of the packaging. The way I'm doing it right now is kind of dangerous. So. Alright. 
There's our fruits. It's time to pop them. You're kidding. <laughs> you saw that, right? Ooh, it's like popping a pimple. Okay, now we mix them. I wish this spoon was a little bit longer. Let's try to pick up some of the stuff that I just spilled right in front of the camera here. to, I don't know, do whatever it's supposed to do, I guess. So I'll see you in two minutes. Alright, let's see what changed. Not much. Don't really think anything changed. So let's scoop everything out of there. This is really messy. I think if you're gonna do this, you should probably do this where there's a table or something. Like, so that you don't spread all of the foam or whatever this is everywhere. So, let's see what kind of kind of anything that we're doing over here. No, we're not going to be able to save that spoon. It's very, very messy. So let's mix it all up. I think there was a minimal amount of liquid to that, so should still have its crumbly texture. Now what I want to know is what happens if you mix this with slime because I'm sure it would be better if it was mixed with slime. It's still really soft except I think adding the bubbles gave it this sort of overly crumbly texture. Now it, you can't really hold it anymore. I think later I might mix it with slime and see what happens. It feels kind of like cornstarch and water. Like if you're making oobleck, like that's what this feels like. So I'm just going to keep mixing it until it's a homogenous mixture. I don't really see any sort of color change as much as it promised. Like on the picture it said that it would turn purple. Or something if you had blue and pink or blue and red. This just looks messy. Doesn't really look anything like it looked like on the picture. I'm definitely gonna mix this with slime or something later because this is so messy. It's very soft, very, very nice to touch, but it's gonna be annoying to clean this up, which I'm gonna have to do, like, right now. So let me put this in the cup, take out the spoon.
luckily like slime it kind of sticks to itself so if I go like this it'll actually pick itself up okay now that that's over and my table is clean let's open up the LOL surprise hair second there to think that I could open something with a tear strip. See, we have a bronze looking ball. I hear a crunchy noise. You hear that? Maybe I might need to wipe down the table again. It says here. It's selfie time. I thought it said sleep time. You should sleep. Maybe I should sleep. It's this way. Oh, come on, I'm gonna ruin my nails. I just did them. table again. I didn't get everything. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Okay. I've got one side of the eggshell, two of those, whatever they are. I think we can test our water change in this side because it doesn't have holes. So, but you can also turn this side into a doll stand by putting their feet in here. We're gonna attach the little zipper handle. Looks like this. It actually kind of looks like a real zipper, and they close together like that. Very cool. So let's put that up on top. There we go.
Let's look at our checklist to see which one I might want to get. So, there we go. There are, let's see, there's even probably more because this looks like a pretty doable collection. Like, there's not that many of them, and I think it's easy to collect this many, I think. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There are twelve of them. And it's it says that they're all color changing, so there's the little poster on the back, by the way. I'm hanging this on the wall. So let's start opening up the little bag. Iridescent glitter on it. These tiny, tiny shoes. The glitter is starting to come off. Oh man, there's gonna be glitter on the table. Well, it's a good thing I'm gonna be cleaning this up again, so I don't care if it falls off. But basically, they're these little glittery pink shoes. And considering the ball is bronze, I think we have some sort of rare kind of doll. the comb. Could we even comb the hair? Because they come with real hair. Not real hair, but you know, like brushable hair. It's also pink and glittery like the shoes. Right, they have pink glitter on the frames and the same iridescent glitter on the lenses and on the back. says pop on it. Good thing this one isn't glittery. It's squishy, kind of, so you can fill it with water. But I don't think we're going to need to do that because they're all color changers and so we don't have to figure out if they spit because they all spit. Uh, and we don't have to figure out if they pee either. It's a really like hard dress. It's got this fuzzy trim on the bottom. And it's covered in iridescent glitter. It's pink, orange, and yellow. And it's kind of almost paisley design. Oh, let's not open that one yet. Okay, let's open these. Wrap. It's kind of tough 
from the top. You're supposed to use this to wrap the hair when you're dunking it in water. So it kind of looks like it's like a swimming like a shower cap or something. see how I how I'm gonna change the hairstyles and stuff later. So I don't know if it's supposed to go this way or if it goes this way. We'll figure it out when we see the doll. But do you see the amount of glitter that's coming off? I guess if you don't like glitter, don't get this. <laughs> and now let's look at our doll. She's so cute. I like how she's like got this weird stance where she's like, hooray, I'm, I have been birthed. Okay, the legs are kind of not turning. There we go. I guess, yeah, I have to, I have to put everything down because it's looking weird. Like, look at that. Look at the way the shoulders look. She's so cute. Look her. No, she has these curly bangs up at the top. I should probably brush them. They're really crispy. So maybe if I wash them, some of that crispiness will come out because it's solid. Like, look how solid it is. It's like I sprayed it. And there is the molded hair piece that you can remove and it's actually kind of disturbing when you remove them because they come out like this <laughs> and we can mix and match them like for example we can put on the glittery one instead It's kind of weird that it's like that, but, you know, so we'll cover up her hair for now because we're going to test out the color change feature and then we'll try out the other hairstyles after. But what she has is, what is it? She has these really dark blue eyes, orange eyeshadow, little earrings that match the necklace, and, um, Let's look at the hairstyles that we got. Because there are more of them actually. What about this kind of curly hairstyle? This comb. Uh, it's starting to get a little undone. But maybe I can to fix it up a little. It's a little messy. And this one, got longer hair I'm assuming. There we go. What about these very curly styles? I think this one is more like for the top. I think. It has like a middle part actually. And then this one might be for the bottom. Very curly. They're like smaller ringlets. So we'll take a look at those in a second. We should look at the color change feature so we can see what changes on the doll. I'm gonna take her swimming. So I'm gonna go get some cold water. Okay, I have the water 
And now let's see if her outfit or anything changes. Or maybe she's a Walmart changer. Um, I guess I'll just leave her in there for now. And while following, let's see, which one do we have? We have a Supreme Queen. And that one is, that one is a rare. I was right. No, the ultra rare was Scoob. I really wanted this one. And if not, if not that one, then maybe... Hmm. Maybe, maybe Jelly Jam. Jelly Jam is cute too. I don't think she changes in cold water. Um, I think she might change in warm water, so maybe I need to try that. So I will see if she changes in warm water. I will see if that happens. So I'm gonna have to go change the water. Okay, I've got warm water. Let's see if anything changes when I do water. No, I guess not. Let's see, does her eye change? I think my water might have not been cold or warm enough. Because I don't see anything changing. Maybe we can sort of color it now that there's enough, there's sort of water in it. Okay, let's try on her other hairstyles. Let's try out the very curly one first. It kind of doesn't look like it's going to fit her for some reason. I just look weird on the top there. I did it correct, but <laughs> her hair is so like curly. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't look it doesn't look right. I think I put it in the wrong direction. But let's see what it says in the instructions. I think this one is supposed to go on the bottom. And this is this is the one that she has on the picture, so see the outfit in full. Okay, so this is the complete look. Couldn't put on one of her shoes because there's a lot of glitter inside there and it's it's just not going in. Like, and as you can see, there's a lot, of, a lot of glitter fallout. It's all over the table. It's on my hands. So, yeah, <laughs> I kind of wish I had a different doll. Not gonna lie. Um, so, I guess that's all that I have for this video today. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you felt relaxed, and 